Hi there. In this video, I'm going to show you how to align the text in an HTML document. So let's first understand what do I mean when I say align the uh, text. So if you have worked on any spreadsheet software, you would be aware. So for example, this is a Word document and inside I write some code and then I select this code and go to the these uh, icons over here and press for example this one then you can see that the text has moved to the right hand side margin and if I press the left alignment it moves back to the left hand side margin so this is useful for uh, creating a variety in the text so you do not want all the text to be aligned to the left or to the middle or to the right depending on the scenario you would use a line to create a nice looking website. You can do the similar stuff in HTML document, but here uh, the difference between the word document and the HTML document uh, is that you will have to write a little bit of code to achieve that. So if I just copy the same text in here and do a little formatting, save it and look it in the browser, you can see that uh, this text is left aligned. How can I tell? Simple that there is a space over here on the right hand side. I'll try to zoom in for you. Okay. And you can see that there is a space in here. That means the word, the next word, which is scrambled, uh, couldn't find place to be placed over there. So it is moved on to the next line. So we can safely conclude that it is uh, left aligned. If you want to do this programmatically to make it more explicit, all we got to do is add the tag, add the tag style uh, inside the head tags of the HTML document. So let's start with the style, close it, and uh, the corresponding closing tag is the slash style. And we are going to enclose this in some kind of HTML tag. Let's say the most common one is the paragraph, which is denoted by the P and the slash P. So now I have enclosed this text inside paragraph. So inside this style, I'm going to add the P tag and I'm going to use the property called as text align, which in this case, I'm going to use it as left. The value of this text align is left format it a little bit and then run this in the browser you'll see no change because we have aligned it as per the default property of the browser so this is how you use the left align if you want to do a right align all you need to do is just change it with right save it once again run it so you can see the text is right align why? Because there's a space out here and there's nothing in here in this line, but it has moved to the, it's kind of like a magnet. It is attracted to the right hand side of the browser. So this is how you do the left and the right part. The third important part of the uh, alignment is the center alignment. So to align this text in a center format, it's very simple you go to the text line instead of the right you put center that's it and let's check in, in the browser so you can see the text has been aligned center because there's equal space on the left hand side and on the right hand side and even in the top line the first line you can see that there's some space here and there's equal amount of space in here this is good uh, because we can uh, make our website more interesting. Now, what if we want to make sure that uh, the text is not, even though it is aligned, it consumes the equal amount of space on both the sides. So let's check out this value of the alignment. It's called as the justify. Okay. Uh, and 
to do a comparison with the left align I'm going to just copy this paragraph and in here I'm going to add style equal to text align left so that the first paragraph is left aligned and second paragraph is justified let's check out with example what happens in this scenario so as you can observe the difference there is some amount of space on the left hand side and there's quite a bit amount of space on the right hand side that means that this text is left aligned so if the next word scrambled didn't find space it just moved to the next line while in the second paragraph you can see that there is space on the left hand side and there's a space on the right hand side but both of them are equal so that means the browser has stretched this uh, line and make sh made sure that it is occupying equal and proportional space so that it looks very coherent this scenario is quite useful for uh, news based uh, websites for example a newspaper would be mostly just justify aligned okay so that gives us our fourth uh, type of alignment now there's something called as initial so let me remove this and make it initial okay by initial I mean uh, that whatever property the browser has for that element will be used and not anything else so when I say initial and the property of the browser is this font and in this alignment the alignment will be taken from the default alignment of the browser program then there's something called as the inherit so to understand the inherit property I'm going to enclose this uh, whole paragraph inside a div to do that I'm going to use the tag div and close it with the slash div place it down below here formatting and now you can understand that this paragraph is inside a div and I'm going to give this div a text alignment of uh, let's say center so what uh, this paragraph is going to do is to inherit the property of this div let's compare this with a paragraph that does not do that so inside this paragraph another paragraph that we have opened let's give a style text align as center now what I'm going to do is give a CSS property to this div where I'm going to do a text line and let's make it center and to differentiate whether something happens between two paragraphs uh, I'm going to copy this text and I'm going to put the style of this paragraph as text align right okay so this first paragraph is going to inherit the property of text alignment from div because that's how we have programmed it while the second paragraph will override it let's check it out so since our first div was center aligned and our paragraph took the property from the div this is going to be center aligned while the second paragraph had the text aligned right over here so it will take the right alignment 
so this is the meaning of uh, inherit versus its own property so today we discussed five types of properties of a tag and you can experiment and find out for yourself what uh, each property do okay and uh, i hope you like this video if you enjoyed it please subscribe and uh, like and share my videos it helps me a lot and i keep i'll keep creating such videos thanks for watching bye bye